Hey, uh, tomorrow, October 5th, I'm going to Washington, D.C. to try and capture the moon rising behind the U.S. Capitol building, just like it did in, uh, in July. In July, I took this picture. Um, I was in Washington, D.C. for the uh, ISS R&D conference where Elon Musk spoke. I was the photographer there. It was pretty cool. Um, so I'm, I'm going back to, to D.C. to try and try and get the moon coming back behind the Capitol again. And there's an app that I use called TPE, The Photographer's Ephemeris. You can look at it here. And the way it works is, given any point on a Google map, um, it can tell you where the moon will rise, where the moon will set, um, where the sun will rise, and where the sun will set. And if you drag this slider down here at the bottom, um, it'll tell you at, at, say, this time of day, it's going to be this high in the sky at this compass angle and way more complicated than you might be interested in but it basically tells you exactly where the moon will rise and set and how high in the sky it will be up from the horizon so you can plan um, photos with terrestrial objects really um, is, is the main thing I use it for and so using the shot planner here I have a location set up for um, the Netherlands Carillon, which is right next to the, the Iwo Jima Memorial in um, Arlington, Virginia, just across just across the river from from Washington D.C. And then if you zoom back in here, all the way over towards the Capitol building, you'll see that the moon will be rising tomorrow on the 5th of October. Um, and if you drag the slider back down here, the 5th of October at like 7:04 it rises, and then by 7.13ish, 7.12, it's going to be pinned right at the top of the Capitol building, just like that picture in uh, in July. So this moonrise tomorrow in Washington, D.C. is going to be a full moon instead of a, a half or last quarter moon. Even if you don't have the big monster zoom lens, even if you just have like a 70 to 200 or, or you know, a 75 to 300 or something like that, something that gets you to 150 to 200 millimeters, it's going to be worth your time to come out. Um, I would say it's worth your time without a camera just to come and see. Um, but if you come with a camera, uh, I'd be happy to help you set it up. Um, I'll be there, you know, about 5 p.m., about two hours beforehand. And so, yeah, I'd be happy to help you set up your camera. Um, I'll put links below to the web app tool that I was using so you can click that and see exactly what I saw on my screen. Yeah, so hopefully I'll see you there tomorrow. If not, uh, look forward to the pictures and look forward to sharing them. See you tomorrow.